Digital icon and founder of Pick and Pay, Raymond Ackerman, has died at the age of 92. Ackerman founded Pick and Pay back in 1967 in Cape Town. The company describes him as a compassionate employer and a committed philanthropist. To get some reaction now, I'm joined by Business Unity South Africa CEO, Cass Kavadia. Cass, thank you so much for your time. A very warm good morning to you. A loss uh, to not only South Africa, but also to the business industry, particularly retail, given the immeasurable contribution by Raymond Ackerman. Yeah, thanks for having me and good afternoon and hi to your viewers. Yeah, it is a loss to business, it is a loss to the country. Uh, obviously, Mr. Ackerman had retired, but uh, he was still, he still seen, was seen as an icon and a doyen of South African business, uh, certainly in the retail industry. Uh, he was a champion of consumer rights. At the time, he took a, he him and his wife purchased four stores uh, uh, in 1967, and we now have Pick and Pay, which uh, uh, employs significant numbers of people and uh, has significant numbers of stores, not only in South Africa but also in other parts of the continent. Uh, and so he will be missed. I think that he was in many ways a, a trailblazer in his time. Uh, he took the then government to court on numerous occasions, fighting for consumer rights, fighting to reduce the cost of retail goods and services so that uh, consumers could afford those. Uh, him and his family were very active in charitable uh, uh, charitable uh, organizations concentrated on education to a great extent and and a number of people graduated as a result of support from from the Ackermans. Yeah. so yeah uh, i think a sad loss uh, we his son gareth is on the busa board and so we i work closely with gareth uh, and and our condolences to the family Absolutely. Uh, we, we also understand that Mr. Ackerman, uh, the late, the now late Raymond Ackerman, you know, comes from a, a background of business. Uh, his father, having founded Ackermans after World War One, and uh, you also reminding us that you know he and his wife Wendy, uh, starting with those four stores out in Cape Town, founding Pick and Pay. Uh, what are some of the lessons here that uh, you think South Africans can learn moving forward, uh, in particularly retail, but also in entrepreneurship? in business, in, in, in the continuous fight and attempt to grow our economy? Yeah, so so he started at uh, Greatermans, I think, and then he went into Checkers. I think one of the lessons is that, you know, it's hard work. It's hard work that brings you from starting in one store in Greatermans, buying four stores, and then growing this empire. Uh, it's hard work, it's dedication, it's commitment to what you are doing and, and commitment to the long road that it takes. I think the lessons are that, that we need to ensure that we committed to growing businesses. Uh, we understand that con conducting ethical businesses uh, uh, is not an easy task. It takes hard work. You've got to be there for the long road. Mm. I think that we've all got to commit ourselves to growing this economy in, in, in South Africa because that's it's only through economic growth and inclusive economic growth that we're going to actually address the unemployment problem and address the other social and economic ills we have in this country. I think Mr. Ackerman's example was that he created a, a conglomerate, essentially, uh, at the retail level that employed uh, a significant amount of people. He, he fought for, at that time, uh, to, for consumer rights and for a reduction in the cost of goods to, to consumers. And I think those are still very, very valid issues today. We see yeah. uh, food prices going up all the time. We see people not being able to afford uh, to buy even basic foods nowadays. And I think that the lesson from Mr. Ackerman's uh, career mm. is that we should continue to fight for 
uh, a fair deal for consumers. We should conduct our businesses ethically and sustainably and always understand, particularly in the environment, the retail environment that he, he grew up in and he championed that at the end of the day, uh, goods and services have got to be affordable to consumers. Otherwise, not only are you destroying your own market, but you, you're not actually playing a role in, in developing our communities and enabling people to grow and to develop. Well, thank you so much, Cass, for speaking to us. And, uh, you know, thank under you. these uh, difficult circumstances for the family, uh, as we will also send our condolences to Raymond Ackerman's uh, wife, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, uh, but also many lessons to learn uh, from uh, the late Raymond Ackerman, not only in business, but his company describing him as a man who was always optimistic, who believed that doing good is good business. So it's important to equally uh, take care of, you know, the community, as Cass Covardi reminded us, of his his philanthropic ways, his commitment to education, amongst other things. And I'm sure we'll be hearing more reaction on the passing of the founder of Pick and Pay, Raymond Ackerman, at the age of 92, a man who's left quite a big legacy for South Africa. Thanks, Busa CEO, Kaskovadia, for joining me.